Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to deglaze a pan. Let's get cooking. In this video, I'm using some caramelized onions because one, I love caramelized onions, and you can kind of see how they charred the bottom of the pan. So the thing that about deglazing is it allows you to get that flavor because there's a lot of flavor in that part that's stuck to the pan, it allows you to get that into whatever you're making. There's a couple things to consider. So if you're gonna be making, say, a gravy, and you have these caramelized onions, then whatever you add in there, you might not want to necessarily cook off. You just wanna use the liquid to remove those bits from the pan. Like right now, I'm pouring in some white wine. So I'm adding the white wine because I'm actually gonna use these onions later for a dip. And because I don't want to actually have the white wine, you know, that extra liquid into the dip, I'm gonna use the white wine to deglaze the onions, just, you know, Pour a little bit into the pan, just enough to cover the bottom part where everything is stuck to it. And then just bring it to a low simmer and you'll see those bits just kind of start to come away. By doing that, you release all that flavor and then I'm gonna cook off the white wine because I'm gonna add it back to that dip. So it just depends on what your use case is. But like I said, there's two different ways. So either keeping the liquid in there. So if I was using these caramelized onions, say in a gravy, I might wanna use a broth deglaze the pan, but then actually not cook off all that liquid. But since I'm using it for a dip, I don't want that extra liquid. I'm gonna actually cook it off. So that's all you have to do. It just takes a few minutes. You can use white wine, red wine. You can use a broth. You could also use water, depending on what you're cooking with it. But deglazing a pan from when you saute something is a really wonderful way to just get extra flavor into whatever you're making. And that's how you do it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. And hey, if there's something you wanna see, drop a comment. I'll see you guys next time.